What's going on YouTube? It's your girl Kwani and I'm here with Rezo Vending. Our other co-owner is my daughter Kwale and we are here inspiring mothers to pursue passive income through vending. If you are new to my channel, please take a second and go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? And make sure you hit that notification bell so that you're tuned in on all our latest drops. Hey, this looks like an older machine. Yeah. Does it give you a lot of trouble? Not at all. Mm. You will be surprised. These old guys are more reliable than the new guys. Got it, got it's it. It's kind of like cars. You know, the old body cars, they get into a little fender bender, yeah. not a scratch. Mm. These new cars, you barely tap a shopping cart. The whole car falls apart, right? <laughs> All right, take a look. So, is that pretty empty or is that like slow or higher? So, you know, honestly, I was here maybe only about two weeks ago. So, this machine holds so many sodas that it'll take it about two, three months before it's wiped out. So honestly, guys, if you are interested in vending, but you want to do something that's it, the most passive as possible, drinks machines is your option because you can stock those guys up and you can come back two, three months later, collect your money. All right, guys, so if you want to grow your vending route quickly, if you want to get started in the vending machine business and the vending machine game, you don't want to worry about the headaches of trying to figure it out, hey, DM me, guys, send me a message. Find me on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, or send me an email, it's in my bio on YouTube, and reach out to me so that we can help you get started quickly and we can be your mentor to help you find that success. Hey, what have you noticed are the most popular drinks? So here, guys, the most popular drinks are gonna be the Coca-Cola, the Diet Pepsi, and the Pepsi. Do Something you, about those ones, I don't know. Do you double, like, do you fill two slots with like Coke because it's so popular or just one soda? That's a good question. If it's a machine like the one, uh, my combo machine, you guys can see that here, I will go ahead and fill two rolls. But if it's something more old school like this, I will keep it with one roll. How's it looking? It's pretty empty. It's pretty oh, empty. Yeah? yeah, it's pretty empty. That's a good thing? Yeah, that's great. Thing? That's amazing. <laughs> Gonna go through and fill her up. What would you say is your best seller over here? Yeah, over here, man, my best seller is going to be cookies. They love cookies. They love the uh, Grandma's cookies like this. And they also love the uh, uh, they also love the famous Amos cookies. I like to reference my inventory system just so I remember what I had stocked in which coil. And it just makes my job a lot easier. Hey, what are those? Munchies? <laughs> you stock up on those? Yeah, I like to get a lot of munchies for most of my accounts. This moves very well. I have five accounts of the five, three of the accounts. These ones will sell out in the first couple days after a restock. Hey, the thing is moving fairly quickly. Do you raise the price or do you keep it the same? Um, I keep it the same. You know, I stick to my formula of just making sure that I'm duplicating or doubling my acquisition costs. Yeah, I don't too much charge more just because I see it's popular. <laughs> well, there's probably some people out there who do that. Hey, you're really stocking up. <laughs> Why is that? There's certain products that I recognize that they like, and this just comes with paying attention to your inventory, paying attention to what your customers buy. And whatever they like, hey, put it in there. Give them a lot so that way it helps you to maintain good sales. When you stock up this much, do you still get expired products or not really? No, actually I don't. And I think it's just a matter of paying attention. Uh, a trick that you guys can do to avoid having expired products is to, when you come to your machine, you wanna be looking at the dates on the machine or on the snack. And if it's anything that's close to expiring, if you know that's gonna be a date that you're not gonna be back at your machine, you just gotta pull it. Uh, but if it's uh, a date and you know you'll be back before it expires, then you're good to go. Like for example, today is the 8th. My Hot Cheetos here actually, the date here is November 15th. So therefore I know I will need to be back here November 15th. So then whatever uh, chips don't sell that have that close expiration, I'll go ahead and pull them. And for me, I give those away for free. Let's go ahead and see how much we got, guys. 
just cash sales. Cool. How's it looking? How's it looking? It's not bad. It's not bad. I have my card reader. A lot of people use card nowadays, but one dollar bills right here looking yeah. nice. Looking nice. All right, guys. So you guys saw how much we collected in cash from this Crane National Snack Machine. We also have this card reader on our machine, which is also going to increase our sales for people who use a debit or credit card or Apple or Samsung Pay. And so I let the machine know that I collected my cash by coming into technician mode and just letting the machine know, hey, I got a cash collection. And now it's going to go ahead and notate that for my database and my inventory information. And this card reader right here, you guys, is a NIAX card reader. If you want a NIAX card reader for your vending machine, which I highly recommend, go ahead and send me an email, send me a DM, or go ahead and click the link down below. And you can go ahead and get a discount on a NIAX card reader using the code RAZO. All right, guys, before we get into the details of this video, I do want to let you guys know that Rezo Vending offers mentorship. All right, you guys are always hitting me up. Hey, how do we get started? What do we need to do? Okay, all these questions. What you need to do is go ahead and book a mentorship. The link is in the bio. We also have one-on-one -on -one coaching calls. So if you're not sure you really want to do vending, but you have some questions, we're here for you with the coaching calls. Click the link in the description below. And finally, you guys, you need a NAX reader on your vending machines. That's how you're able to know everything that's going on at your machines remotely, okay? Hey, it's 2022, it's almost 2023. We like to do things remotely. So you gotta get that NAX card reader. So in the description, guys, don't forget, and get that NAX card reader and make sure you use code RAZO, all right? Right here, code RAZO and that's gonna get you the discount on the NAX card reader. Hey Q, so there was a piece of paper in one of those vending machines, the soda machines. There's people saying that the machine ate their money. How do you handle that? Yeah, with that one, I just need to find them. So at that Sam's Club location, you guys saw the paper there. Now, honestly, that paper is supposed to be used for snack or beverage suggestions, but those clients have decided to use it for, hey, my money got taken. So with that one, I need to go find that customer inside of the Sam's Club location and just return them their money. Seems like a headache. It's pretty tough that way. You know, I prefer for it to just be something I can do remotely, right? So you just get the cash app, get the Venmo, PayPal, however they choose, and just go ahead and wire it to them. There was another guy at the first location. He said that the machine didn't give him cookie. How do you know he's not lying? You know, usually if I'm not busy and overwhelmed with things, I will go back and I will check my reports. And that's something I can do right there from my phone inside the NAX app checking my inventory, checking previous sales because it does record all that information. But I was feeling friendly, you know, we're doing a customer appreciation day. We got the pizza, we got the balloons. So, you know, we're just gonna let it slide on that one. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you were inspired, if you were entertained, or if you learned something new, go ahead and hit that like button, drop a comment down below, tell a friend to tell a friend to follow Rezo Vending on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and subscribe right here on YouTube, all right? All right, guys, until the next one, peace.